Hi, my name is Mia Chung, and it gives me great pleasure to be performing this solo piano recital at the Seoul National University on April 16th. I am from the Boston, Massachusetts area in the United States, and um, I'm very excited to be visiting Korea during the month of April, where I hear the weather is fabulous. The program that I'll be performing it displays a vast array of color and style and historical period um, of music written for the solo piano. And I'm really excited to present this because I, I'm hoping that I'll be able to share the multitude of perspectives and ways of thinking and approaching the keyboard uh, that has transpired over the centuries. And we are the rich recipients of this great music that we can share with one another. I'm going to start with Schoenberg's Opus 19 set of small pieces for the piano, uh, which is of course atonal, but not yet 12 tone composition. And then I'll follow that with the Beethoven's uh, Wallstein Sonata, which is a large scale work and perhaps his most popular or one of his most popular piano sonatas. After intermission, I'm going to introduce Zhu Long's Piano Bells, which was composed in 2015. I feel very strongly that including contemporary music is an important responsibility for us as musicians to keep expanding the repertoire and exposure to the piano music that is um, continuing to be uh, composed and created for musicians to share. And um, I'm also sharing this because I have a short book that's being published soon uh, through Cambridge University Press on the modernism of Zhou Long and Chen Yi uh, after the Cultural Revolution. This work will then be followed by Schumann's Papillon, a set of short pieces, very colorful and imaginative. And I will be um, talking about and um, discussing the, the story and the psychology of these works with graduate students later on in the week on April 19th, students at Seoul National University. And then finally, I close off with a, a couple of Rachmaninoff preludes, Opus 23, number seven in C minor, and Opus 23, number two in B flat major, because uh, it's always fitting to bring the program to a rousing and exciting virtuosic closure. I think um, for the audience, I would recommend for the best listening experience to approach each work as if it were a story, to listen to the storyline and the journey that each piece takes you on, even though the styles are so vastly different. Finally, I'm hoping that you will join me on April 16th. I really look forward to sharing this music with you and to perhaps even meeting you after the concert. Thank you so much for listening.